so with the topics that were uh, keywords of our project. So uh, you can uh, see the ones uh, bigger, which we fi I found the most important for our project. Uh, but to discuss uh, with the professors, so uh, we have a question because there are hundreds of research projects in Europe uh, alone. So, uh, Eric, why why did you uh, feel uh, think it was important to propose another project called InnoCrossLAM? Well, the. Uh, <clears throat> It was said already uh, related to the motivation, but as I saw it then when we, we decided to, to write an application for this call, somehow uh, at that point, uh, I mean CLT has been around, it's a fairly new material, meaning only about 30 years, 25. <laughs> uh, so in that sense it's well established, at least the first or possibly second generation of materials. But going beyond that we saw uh, lack of knowledge and also lack of, I would say, approaches in research and characterization methods, modeling methods, treating this with more theoretically sound-based uh, approaches. That was uh, my, my driving force and I, I, I think we saw from that point of view uh, really some, some knowledge gaps to get beyond very standardized design situations, basically. And um, if you allow me to add, my addition would have two parts. The first part is the cost action FP1402, which I had the chance to, to lead until 2018. And we ended that cost action with a two-day workshop. And in that two-day workshop, 60 experts discussed what are future questions for the timber sector, for timber construction. And actually, quite a lot of these questions circled around the future of massive timber construction. And the second part of the answer is the work in Project Team 1, in which we wrote the rules for the design of CLT for the future um, generation of Eurocode 5. And during that work, we came um, to the conclusion that for 85% of the design cases, we have good solutions. But we miss this gap of maybe 15%. And this gap is important because it still appears in most of the buildings. And to find design approaches which are harmonized so that not every office would have to find their own individual solution, that was the second driving force um, for me personally. Anything to add? Uh, yeah, and yeah, um, exactly the same opinion. In my role as a check engineer in practice, I see uh, a number of cases from this 15%, probably it's 20%, uh, not solved up to now, but they are appearing on building sites and then people are looking at it and then, okay, we can solve it this way or this way or probably this way and a lot of discussions around sometimes, yeah, points which could be solved, of course. And in my role as a chairman of Eurocode 5, of course, I would like to support more European technical harmonization and we know that there is a lack, especially in the field of CLT, uh, we don't have a, a, a harmonized European standard at the moment available for CLT. Fortunately, we will become a lot more design, common design for CLT in the new Eurocode draft or based on the new Eurocode draft. But um, these open questions, uh, these are the drivers, of course. <laughs>